Hello! In this tutorial on FDL, we will write a graphical user interface for the snake game. Actually, if you haven't seen the snake game video, I highly recommend to go back and watch it. Although it is uh, uh, anchor test, and if you don't want to learn the anchor test, uh, there are just few basic uh, calls in anchor test, so you ha don't have to worry about. Uh, and probably I will post the source code as well under the video, so you can uh, um, go through the source code. So, basically I will not uh, tell you again how this is work, now I just want to make it uh, a graphical user interface, a very simple uh, interface actually. So, uh, let's get started. First thing first, we have to create a variable an SDS surface variable and actually to make it possible to use the uh, anchor set uh, SDL we include the library for the SDL so SDL slash SDL dot age as we did earlier okay so we need an SDL surface actually a pointer and call it screen okay that's it uh, this will be our screen obviously and actually I plan to make another function uh, call it draw rectangle which will draw a 10 by 10 rectangle with the uh, given color uh, and the position uh, although we can use the fill rect function but we have to define a rectangle object FDL rect for that and uh, you know it's a little longer to do that every time so we just make a function for that so void draw rect okay and it waits for an int x and int y and u int 32 uh, you remember this is unsigned integer which is 32 bit long uh, color. So we give these parameters to the draft rect function and it will simply draw a 10 by 10 rectangle where we give it. Alright and pretty much that's all change we need to make in here. Okay and now just start the snake function. Okay we don't have to change too much I plan to hold anything so the representation the game logic everything uh, the original except uh, the drawing so the displaying so whenever we display something I go to the x coordinate times 10 uh, and y coordinate times 10 and draw a 10 by 10 rectangle so yeah that's the only change I made uh, so yeah everything is remains the same so the snake part remain and basically everything okay comment out which is not needed which is the anchor the scroll all right uh, we don't need these either because we don't want uh, because we will not draw charts okay so here just comment out everything okay this is needed we just put the snake part to the vector which is needed okay the delay we just uh, delete three zeros from it because the delay is in milliseconds in SDL not microseconds okay mm, these are needed needed the see the random number generator put the food we have to rewrite that and actually these are not needed we will uh, uh, draw all of it with one call oh. so actually change this uh, draw rect a little and uh, put an int width equal 10 and an int height equal 10 so it will be automatically 10 by 10 except if we give the parameter uh, you should know what the, the default parameter is 
by the way if you have a prototype of default parameter you should only uh, you should give the default parameter only once so if I make the definition you don't have to put you not you don't have to you <coughs> you mustn't put the default parameters in there as you will get an error okay at last time I did all right so we uh, just draw these uh, edges with one call so draw rect although this function is not ready because we uh, not written it yet so we draw from zero zero and and actually call it with color red red should be good it's it's warning for the player to, to not go in so sdl map rgb we have to use this function remember because uh, this will uh, give the correct uh, format of our color so screen dot format don't forget we have to initialize the screen we will do that in a moment okay so we give the x air uh, so the red maximum and the others are zero so like that okay and now we, we have to just give the width and the height oh by the way define the width and the height I think the 800 is enough and for the height the 400 is enough okay so just give the width and uh, the height is 10 so this will go in here up so it starts uh, in the zero zero coordinates so yeah I will show you in here so it starts in the zero zero coordinates up here uh, goes 800 as a width and 10 down as a height so it, this will be it pretty much so yeah this is the upper edge now we need this edge so the edge in the left side this is starts at zero zero coordinate as well although probably it is a little well optimized to go up here where the other end so uh, go to zero ten probably but uh, you know we just want a clear code now if you want you can do that so start zero zero coordinate the height is the maximum height of the uh, game uh, except we uh, minus 20 because you know remember we have a line down there where we put uh, things so uh, just fill it w uh, and here yeah, and then the other edges so we draw a rect another rectangle this rect starts from 0 0 as well and the width is 10 and the height is the maximum height minus 20 okay now the lower edge comes in so we go to 0 as an x coordinate and uh, 270 I guess no 370 we go to 370 so right here we go to the maximum width and the uh, the height is remains 10 so it will be this rectangle okay so draw it all right so this it starts from 0 as an x coordinate and uh, 370 actually uh, we are right you probably want to use the constant for that actually it's not constant never mind so the variables for that all right and uh, at the width we go to maximum width and the height is actually just 10 all right that's it and we need the last one which is uh, in here so it starts from the maximum width and uh, maximum width minus 
minus 10 so it starts from maximum width minus 10 alright and the y coordinate is 0 we want the red color and the height of uh, and the width of it is 10 and the height of it is uh, height minus 20 okay I will rewrite that height minus 30 okay I'm not sure that it worked perfectly but we there is just one way to know it so initialize the screen and other things so SDL uh, in it we initialize everything as you probably know okay we initialize the screen oh we should initialize that up here so we can use it right here okay the width is the width so 800 height is the height so 400 and then the bit per pixel 32 is a good number and then how do we want to do that we want in the main memory so the system memory fdl sv surface all right that's it we initialize the screen and uh, the few thing remains because we have to write this function so the drive wrap function which uh, which is very important as you can see we use it four times just right here okay and uh, we have to rewrite this as well so we will not write the point at this point of development although you can do it with the TTF as I said Bec but we will draw the food so instead of this two line so these actually I don't think that we it is needed because the put food is the uh, draw it so yeah it was a uh, two line which is actually not needed in the program I don't really know why I did that alright uh, the next thing is the destructor we don't need these so yeah these are anchored as goals all but we have to deinitialize the SDL so SDL quit and actually this is all thing we need because remember the uh, screen is automatically freed by the SQL SDL quit so yeah this is all thing we need to do all right and the put food function comes in and instead of this free line which is put the character at the correct location we draw a rectangle to the correct location so draw rect and the first parameter is the x so food dot x uh, by the way listen carefully because as you can see actually watch carefully I don't really know how thi this should be uh, said so as you can see it is weight the parameter as y coordinate and x coordinate so as a matrix as you would give a coordinate to a matrix while in all of the graphical li uh, libraries the x and the y is in different order so food that x so first the x and then the y and as I said we have to give it uh, 10 times that okay and here we have to divide it with 10 so as I said the representation will not change so this max width uh, divided by 80 and max width divided by max height divided by 40 and uh, actually no this will be 40 and this will be 80 that's what really matter so the random number will give the coordinate like 2020 but we will draw it to the 200 200 coordinate and actually we have to change this one as well so divided by 10 and divided by 10 as it will give the coordinate 800 and uh, probably uh, yeah so probably you understand it why we did that and actually these are not 
2, this has 20 and 30. 